Okay, so we got a uh, no crank, no start on a Dodge Cummins. This is a 2015 uh, 6.7. Uh, this thing, the customer brought it to me, and he put two new batteries in it. He brought a starter, wanted me to put it on, said that was what was wrong with it, so I put the starter on. Uh, we still have a no crank, no start, so uh, I've already fixed this truck. I found a problem. I want to share it with you what it is. Um, I'm going to show you a little clip here uh, of how the starter works and how the signal is uh, comes down to the the starter and uh, and you can watch that video that little clip here and then I'll show you what I found on the truck so. all right guys I'm gonna show you how this starter engages and that way you'll know when I get underneath there and start showing you what we found on this truck you'll know uh, where I was going and how I was diagnosing it so uh, I'm hooking my hot up I got my ground over. There's other guys that has the same video on there. Uh, this isn't anything new to, to YouTube, but I'm gonna show you. This, this here, there's a wire coming down from the ignition. It goes through a lot of other components, but this is the signal wire. And uh, what you got is when you hit the ignition, all it does is kick your starter in. So when you hit the ignition, your starter kicks in and uh and that's that's what turns your truck over this this is uh you you got your hot on this post you got your ground and this is your ignition okay so here's what we got uh this is how we diagnosed this truck we unhooked the signal wire coming down from the ignition and uh and i'm going to put a 12 volt tester in there cody's inside the truck he's going to try to start this truck and I'm going to show you what should happen when he tries to start it. So we'll hook us into the signal wire coming down. Okay, Cody, try to start it. You see how it lit up? That means that the signal coming from the key is working and the problem has to be in the starter or in the ground. The ground is grounded to the motor. The starter body of the starter is what collects the ground. So we had a problem uh, somewhere between the power and the ground. I'm gonna show you what that was. We're gonna hook this back up. And, uh, and on this 12 volt tester, all we did to make sure that we had 12 volts coming down to the starter, we just hooked up our 12 volt tester and checked the back. Uh, the and you see we had 12 volts coming down. Amen. So we got so I've got the 12 volt. Are you ready? So I got the 12 volt tester hooked up, and I'm just going to reach up there and touch the cable coming down. And I know I got voltage coming to the starter. So now we're looking for a ground problem. Even though this tester is grounded and I'm picking up voltage, it's still not enough ground to make the starter engage. I can hear it clicking, but it's not engaged. So what I want to show you, we're going to have to get out from underneath the truck. I'm going to try to show you up behind the starter. There was a ground coming down and we cleaned it. There was a ground on the outside of the fender or on the inside of the fender and we cleaned it and then the truck started. So uh, let's show you where those grounds are at and maybe you can fix your truck. Okay guys, you see right up behind the starter, that ground right there. Then I'm pointing that, I think I'm pointing that, here we go. Right there, that's the ground that we cleaned. I've got a picture of it, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna show you now. Uh, Without the starter on her, I took a picture of it and uh, we cleaned that one. All right, and right there's the ground wire behind the starter. We took the starter off. That ground wire coming down to the side of the engine block uh, was corroded up real bad. And we get the starter back on her, and I have a feeling this thing going to fire right up. So let's check it out. Guys, I had a uh, 2004 Dodge. 1500 series that was doing the exact same thing about eight months ago and the guy had it uh, towed to me 
and when we got it here we had the exact same issue and right on the front of the engine block um, there was a ground right there and we cleaned it and it's it started just fine afterwards so uh, these grounds seem to be a problem I'm going to show you the one now that is under under the fender hold on just a second let's do this come right around here and you'll see this one right here we cleaned it also we just went across we went over all the grounds and uh, and cleaned them up and got this truck to where it would start so let's hold it uh, fire it up and let's listen to it That's what we was looking for when we started. This guy's gonna be tickled to death to get his truck back. I'm gonna charge him a couple of hundred bucks for this, and uh, and he can take his new starter back and save himself some cash. And that's what it's all about, saving money. So uh, hope this video helps you. Please subscribe.